Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Drill. Happy Friday. And you know, these last couple of years have been, well, interesting. Challenging, really. You know, you might say uh, having navigated remote work, hybrid work, return to the office, mask on, mask off, the great resignation, the great reassessment, and the great big deep breath we all take at the beginning of each day, and sometimes at the end. But you know what? There's a simple theme emerging. Yeah, what we're do, going to discuss today will be critical and lasting far beyond COVID. People want to feel cared for, they want to stay connected, and they want the flexibility to figure out how to manage their situation their way. And managers hold the key. People managers at every level of an organization are the cornerstone of success in difficult times. We've had to manage new policies, new systems, new vacation and sick time, new vaccines, Zoom etiquette, I could go on. But the best investment managers can make is to skill their teams up in three simple principles, care, connection, and flexibility. Let's break them down. First up, care. Employees, frankly all of us, want to feel that we matter and we are valued as individuals and not just for the job we perform. Now, a culture of care in the workplace can lead to higher levels of morale, productivity, innovation, and retention. Retention, retention, retention. So, what can you do? Well, you can ask people how they're doing and really listen to their answers. Carving out this time should be a purposeful priority and not an afterthought. And let them know how you're doing. It creates common ground when you share your own challenges, struggles, and small victories. Your personal transparency will go a long way to building loyalty. People want to work for those they like and admire. And ask about their aspirations. Try to understand each employee's needs, hopes, fears, aspirations, and goals, both short and long term. Help guide them to achieve their ambitions in a way that works for them and your organization. Next is connection. People who feel connected collaborate more, readily share knowledge, and are generally more efficient. So show employees the bigger picture, right? Make sure employees understand the vision and mission of both your team and the larger organization. Then draw a direct line to the work they do, showing them how it contributes to that mission. Give them time to connect with others. Employees don't need to be over the top, you know, extroverts uh, hmm. uh, to find value of connecting with colleagues. Create in person or online connection opportunities and have open access to leadership. Find opportunities for your leaders to get to know the contributions of your employees and for your employees to make connections at the next level. It helps employees see that the people up the ladder are listening too. And the third key is flexibility. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that there are many factors totally beyond our control. All of us needed to do things differently. So let employees adapt. Show them how the company's norms and policies are guardrails and, and give them leeway to make their own adjustments inside that space. Within reason, of course. Now, while employees will value the feeling of independence, you'll know very soon if productivity remains steady. And create creative schedules. Allow the flexibility for employees to take care of themselves and their families they can still meet the company's needs while taking care of their own. Care, connection, and flexibility. By learning to blend empathy with transparency, collaboration with humility, and creativity with a little rule bending, managers will build more engaged teams that are focused on the future and less likely for opportunities elsewhere. That's today's drill, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.